and it's here and I can't wait to open these up. That's right. I just got in the mail this box of Upper Deck Marvel Ages cards originally supposed to release in 2020 just came out March 3rd, 2021. If you're a fan of Marvel Comics and you're a fan of trading cards, this combines both into one form of media and i can't wait to open these up a little bit about this series so again it is produced by upper deck each box has 16 packs there's 12 cards per pack you have your base cards but there are a bunch of different parallel cards as well as well as some great hits some of the more common parallels or saturday morning cartoons big fan growing up saturday morning cartoons so they reimagined some of the marvel teams in superhero golden age of animation as well as Totally Toys, just like that, they take those Marvel superheroes. If you collect comics, you might be familiar with those action figure variants. Well, here they have something similar in a trading card form, as well as some Gamerverse cards. And how the parallels break down per box? Well, per box, you get four base foil parallels. There's eight photo variants per box, two decade inserts, and one what they call flavorful or word card per box but they also have some hit cards per case and per case breakdown within those boxes there's one to two sketch cards three fresno cards which is like one of those super hits it's on a, it's on a translucent card stock really pops there's one to two coinage cards which is pretty cool because they have a piece of the comic book as well as the actual coins for what the cover price of that comic book was there's 10 lenticular puzzle pieces per case which is a bunch of different each card's a different puzzle piece that form together to make a lenticular splash page as if it was on a comic book, as well as the ages cards. So this box, this series does cover from golden age to copper age. So those ages cards will have a spotlight on one of those eras for one of those comic books. And within those, you also have even more rare ones that have actually silver or gold embedded in the card. So it looks like there's some great parallels, great hit cards. This, again, I bought this from DNA Card World. It was $139. I do believe they are sold out right now. But if you're looking for some, I think Steel City Collectibles Online still has some of these boxes available as well. Either way, I'm excited to get into these. So let's open it up and see what we get. All right, take this box, get this opened up here real quick. There's the packs. Put this over to the side. See what we got in here. There we go. So pretty much normal card stock. Like uh, unlike Marvel Flare, Marvel Masterpieces, they use a little bit thicker card stock, but this is like your normal trading card. We got Blue Marvel, Triathlon, Darwin. Bishop, here's one of those Totally Toys cards. We got Shiri with Vibranium Armor. Another one with Miles Morales, Invisible Action. Kind of pretty cool background. Here's one of the foil cards. You got Deadpool, Mercs for Money. Venom. Moonstar and Crystal. And it's great to see trading cards, especially comic book trading cards, starting to gain some heat. Uh, been talking about it on the channel how Bob is pretty much undervalued, especially the way sports trading cards are doing right now. And of course, out of all the series that are taken off, we've seen those 90, those early 90 Marvel Impo cards going for great money, especially if you have PSA certified cards. But. We got Eric O'Grady, Sync, Echo. There's a great character. Cable, Quake, another Turley Toys with Colossus, Ghost Rider, Red Guardian. We got that Black Widow movie coming up. Stark Unlimited, War Machine. So these ones here, these are actually looks like stickers. And then Corsair. Shroud and Charlie 27. Like I said, I bought this box off of uh, DNA Card World. 
which again I believe they are currently sold out unless you wanted to buy a case but I think Steel City collectibles if you're looking might still have boxes available blowout card they were sold out really really early um, like they always do especially with their Marvel cards part of the challenge is just getting the packs open <laughs> Striker, Metal, Iron Lad, escorted by his future self across time to see the atrocities he will one day commit. Cosmic Ghost Rider, Wind Dancer. Here's one. Here's one of those Saturday morning cartoon cards. The Defenders. It's pretty cool. Can always count on the defenders to use their powers wisely. I wish they would make a defenders Saturday morning cartoon. Beast, Nova, Hallion, Emma Frost, Puma, and Iceman. War Machine, Carolina Dean. I guess say Carolina Dean. <laughs> it's what their friends parents were super villains. <laughs> Hydra Bob, Amadeus Cho, Alex Wilder, Nether Colossus Toys, Ghost Rider Toys, Monica Rambo, pretty popular character, especially after WandaVision. And you know she's gonna be Captain Marvel 2. Another sticker, Katie Power, Cloud, Morbius, Living Vampire. Pretty excited for that Morbius movie. Anxious to see when that comes out. Jared Leto, one of the best actors out there. We've got Kate Bishop. He's got like a. I was wondering because the upper deck logo is a little bit more embossed from the back. You can see the little indention there. Silver Claw, Wallflower, White Tiger, Maria Hill. Here's one of the Game Reverse cards, Mr. Negative from the Spider-Man PlayStation game. That is a little bit thicker card stock. Captain America Toys cards, Deathlock, Patriot. Magma, liquid hot magma. Guardian, Doc Sampson. Here we got Red Hulk, Finesse, Tag, Luna Snow. I think Agents of Atlas is getting ready to be big here. Nova, another one for Saturday. I like this one, Saturday morning cartoons. Champions. Champions is definitely one of my favorite books, especially when you're talking about those young teen groups. Definitely love Champions. Green Goblin. This one seems like the... Compared to those other trolley toys, this card seems a little bit more glossier, a little bit thicker. But there's no... Uh, maybe they decided to give Green Goblin <laughs> special consideration. But nothing that special about the card. That, I mean, compared to the other trolley toys... Magic, Hydra Bob sticker, Sabretooth, Rogue, and Swordsman. Jubilee, Philovel, Triathlon, Darwin, Bishop again. Getting some duplicates, Rogue, the Hulk. That one's kind of cool, I like the foil little background there but it is Cho sticker Hellcat Nova and Vision here we 
Here we got Agent Venom. Dupe. Ironheart. Another great character. Molly Hayes. I love how they're... It's Marvel Ages and it says that they advertise Golden Age to Copper, but it's good seeing that they do have the modern age, especially more more recent characters like Ironheart and uh, some of those Ages of Atlas characters. Gambit, Thanos, the Mad Titan, Jean Grey, Foil, Blink. Just making sure, because I've been known to overlook cards every now and then. <laughs> Blink. Captain Britain, Forge, and Falcon. Speaking of Falcon, let me know in the comments. Are you excited for that uh, Falcon Winter Soldier miniseries to start up? I'm pretty excited about that. I enjoyed WandaVision. I know a lot of fans were disappointed at the end of it, but I thought it was a great show from beginning to end. I think it set up nicely. Uh, I know a lot of people were upset that fan theories didn't come true, but as a whole, I think that show did really well. Made Vision relevant again. <laughs> Stature, Darkhawk, Ghost Spider. I like how I've got Ghost Spider and not Spider Gwen. Gravity, Reptile. They say this character is supposed to be uh, coming big within the Marvel Universe. But the comics, I don't know if it's going to bleed over to MCU, but there's been some articles out that says Reptile is going to be their next. If it was WWE, that's who they were going to push to get a title, title shot next. Vulture, Gliding Action Falcon. I kind of like these toy cards. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, it's back in the day. I mean, they used to go to Target and Walmart. But there's nothing better than being a child, going to the toy store and seeing some of these action figures hang at Toys R Us. KB Toys, especially with those X-Men figures. But those cards definitely strike up some nostalgia. Scott Lang, Electra, Spider-Woman. Striker, Metal, Iron Lad, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Wind Dancer, Nick Fury. So here's another one of those toy cards that's a little bit thicker and a little bit more glossy. But I don't. Dark Avengers Saturday morning cartoon card. That's pretty cool. Aurora, Alex Wilder from The Runaways, Deathlock, Scott Lang. Speed Demon. I did hit one of those rare hit cards. That'd be pretty cool. We got Kate Bishop, Blue Marvel, Silk, Silver Claw, Wallflower, Modoc, Ghost Rider, Rusty Collins, Red Hulk. Colossus, Rick Jones, just figure I'd flip them over, I haven't really shown much of the back of the cards, but, Surge, I need Serge, from Beverly Hills Cop. Janice Val, Wave, X-Men, Speedball, another Saturday morning cartoons for the X-Men. Another game reverse card with Silver Sable, Colossus, Night Thrasher, Black Cat, and Moon Dragon. Maggot, Alpha, Domino. One of the decades card. This is pretty cool. Two thousands Captain America. Almost like one of those refractor type cards, but. It's not numbered or anything. Phantom X. 
Rocket Racer, Shaman, Sunfire. Now, I will tell you, like, most of the time you open boxes, like, right when you get to the middle of the box, when you start hitting some of those hit cards, I'm actually towards, I have three packs left, so it was actually towards the bottom of the box. I don't know if it's that way for all of these before you get those hit cards, but it's something to take note of, especially if you actually go into a hobby shop. Um, of course, it only helps if it's a freshly open box to kind of dig towards the middle or towards the bottom, but someone's done it before you it doesn't make a difference white tiger maria hill agent venom dupe iron heart metal fighter another decades iron heart finesse firestar sage major victory This one, then one other pack left. M, Elsa Bloodstone, A Bomb, Mach 1, Miss Marvel, Beast, another Saturday morning cartoon, Hulk, 1960s decade, Chamber, Cloak, Warpath, Triton. And the last pack. We got the last pack right here. Molly Hayes, Jessica Jones, Stature, Artist Spotlight, Steve Ditko, pretty cool. Main Spider Man 23. Another decades, Captain Britain, nineteen seventies. That's it. It's not a big hit box. Still like the cards. I do like those decades. Um, I'll go back and look through them again, see if there's something I missed. But there it is, guys. Marvel Ages Upper Deck. They were pushed back almost a year, but they are here now. So if you're interested in these, make sure you check your hobby stores. So check online. Like I said, I know SteelCityCollectibles.com still has a few boxes left. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of these cards. They aren't as high-end as, say, the Marvel Flare or the Masterpieces. But I think for the price point, those have gotten crazy expensive just from a retail perspective. Although these aren't cheap, they're still a lot cheaper than the Masterpiece or Flare. So I enjoyed picking these up. I do have one other box that I'll probably just open up. And if anything, if I get anything great out of there, just make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll post the pictures there. At uh, Follow me at Simple Bands Comics on Instagram. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Swipe, 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 swipe. Just picked up some bands, come and come again.